As we work on the challenges of sibling conflict with children, we're realizing that this is the first class in relationship training. We're helping them develop the life skills they'll use for the rest of their lives. Now, conflict is made of two things. We have differences and emotions. You have to have both of those to have conflict. If you just have differences, then you have problems to solve. You don't have the emotion. It's the emotion that's added to the differences that creates the problem. So let's split those up and work on them separately. Let's start with the differences. This is so significant because if we can teach children to solve problems, uh, then they'll have a plan and people who don't have a plan use emotion to solve problems. So let's teach children how to solve problems and uh, let's use the sibling conflict as a opportunity for them to solve problems. Sometimes it's children just need help solving problems in life, but these are relationship problems. So you might take two children, for example, and who are uh, fighting over a toy and have them sit in two chairs facing each other and say, you're not in trouble. Well, we're going to put the toy over here on the table. And when you guys have a solution for how you're going to deal with the toy, then you can play with it again. Now, what this does is it forces the children to interact, but one, uh, children are silent. They don't know what to do. So you might say to one of the children, start this way. Say, I have an idea. And he says, I have an idea. I should get the toy. And you go, well, okay, that's an idea. What do you think? Uh, I don't like that idea. I think I should get the toy. Okay, well, start with the words, I have an idea, and come up with a plan to uh, work on this together, and then you can have the toy back. And you, you're then, as a parent, pulling back, watching what's going on, so that if um, one child is being particularly stubborn, you can either coax them along or, or just tell them they need to take a break, and, and the other one can play with the toy for a while if you want. But the point is, we're going to teach them how to cooperate, and we're going to teach them how to persuade and compromise, all those things that are very important in the problem-solving sequence as we're working with relationships. So that's the problem-solving piece. The problem is that parents often just don't like the tension, so they step in and solve the problem for children, whether it's relational problems or just problems in life. Our children would do better if we transfer the problem back to them, let kids solve the problems for themselves. They'll develop more confidence and skills to be able to do that. So teaching children how to solve problems for themselves is a great way to address much of the sibling conflict issues that we experience. Now the emotion's another issue, and I've got plenty of videos here that talk about anger and how to address it and help children have an anger management plan and so on. But let's go back to solving problems because that's gonna be a key element that will help them. For more biblical parenting tips, follow me here.